decide to stay aloof and not get involved in this European <coughs> squabbling. I hear those arguments put powerfully here in Leicester. I have read what Ramsay MacDonald, Chairman of the Labour Party and MP for Westcoats here in Leicester has said. Crowds of tens of thousands are out in London outside Buckingham Palace singing God Save the Queen. This may be a terrible moment, but we are ready to rise to the challenge. I will go to war if necessary to help our allies and to defend the principles of our civilization. We cannot let aggression go unanswered and not uphold the decent principles of our empire. I want to join the Leicestershire Regiment 4th Yeomanry, but I'm not yet 17. My parents are a bit uneasy, but they heard someone say that it will be over by Christmas, so they don't think I will ever actually have to fight overseas. <laughs> The lamps are going out all over Europe, and we shall not see them lit again in our time. It's a hundred years since the start of the First World War, and every family, every community across England, and particularly here in Leicester, was affected by that war. We have to remember those who fell, those who sacrificed much, and we need to understand the ways in which our community was changed by that war. There's still a big debate as to whether the war was just, and we have to wrestle with those questions today. That's why we need to remember. Well, there was a famous speech by the Foreign Secretary who spoke of the lights going out across Europe and that there was uncertainty whether the lights would ever go back on again. And yet, people of faith knew then and know now that even in the worst time of darkness, there is a light, a tiny light, but that one single tiny light gives people enough hope to get by on. And so we lit the single candle tonight to remind us of those dark times, but nevertheless, when there was still hope. In your tender compassion, O God, to shine in those who dwell in darkness and a shadow of death. This service is really to remember all the gentlemen and all the chaps who died in the war in Oadby, from Oadby, 72 of them, of about 400 who um, joined up, uh, which was about 20% of the population of Oadby at the time.